Hey, welcome back. In this video today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a brand for this product. Yes, if I was a dropshipper like you and I have a big dream that one day I will have my own brand and I will compete with the different level then from today when even I am not starting I would actually think about creating a brand and which is very important this is why you clicked on this video and I highly recommend and humble request please watch the video till the end because you don't want to miss it because all the expertise and the things that is very much necessary to creating a brand if you are a dropshipper or even an e-commerce website owner then this video actually covered this all of these things and I promise I'm not gonna make you bored and it is really fun and informative to know how to create a brand so without talking let's start creating the brand for this product for one drop shipping store hello and welcome my name is Sunny and in this channel what I discuss about all about drop shipping e-commerce product research marketing and if you are interested in one of these consider subscribing and let's begin today's video how many of you know this picture this guy this guy this guy yeah this guy this guy his name is Jim Carrey let me ask you what does this picture tells you why do you like him even if you like him there are these are the valid questions to ask you know why because Jim Carrey is a personal brand everybody know who is Jim Carrey who actually love him or who actually know him even the haters know him come on but the main point over here I want to focus here is like his picture and his movies tells me he's a funny guy hard-working guy is not that charming but he has confidence and there are some many more things now this one picture or one character we know about Jim Carrey is actually tells us to why I should love or why I should follow this guy because I like funny things I like confidence I like hard-working guys and when you know about the deep in depth of the story of a Jim Carrey then you're gonna fall in more in love with his character and his hardship that hurdles that he actually passed now this is not the topic of this video why I'm telling you the example of Jim Carrey is because anybody even if you have some friends you become friends with that other people because you like or resonate something in their character that actually gives you a positiveness that yes I like this guy I like this uh, his opinion I like his character when you like his character when you resonate with someone's character then and this is the time when you try to become a friend this is very crucial to understand at the beginning of this video because your business is another person trust me when you don't treat like a business like another person it you're not gonna think about its character now let me focus over here now when you when you go for finding and when you go for making some new friends maybe you went some functions or somewhere you like you meet so many people not everybody become your friend right there are some very important people who will become your friend who will be very much close to you will be very 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 much close to you now you filter all those guys right not so many people don't don't filter but it's not a blame I'm not blaming anyone but the things is that whoever we try to meet and try to keep in contact with us we try to know why we want to keep on contact with them what this guy has what is his character why I like him or I want to be with him I want to be a friend of this guy because his character has something that I need trust me it's not always economical or financial it could be his personality this is what dragged me this is why it is very important at the first step of setting up your brand is setting up your brand identity ie brand personality now for this product that I told you today that I'm going to create this video over here what this product actually tell you let me show you a video uh, of this product where it, it use
In fact, if you missed my last video where I mentioned this product is a hot product to add on any Shopify store problem solving product, if you missed that video, you can check this out over here. But stay here before finish this video and then go. Now you know what this product does. Now what it tells you just by looking at the video ad and this product, if I ask you to come up with the brand name, what should be? To make this video short, let me tell you what I came up with. Okay, first of all, this product actually used to build comfort around your knees, right? You agree with me? Okay, so comfort is a thing for this product. Secondly, this product is innovative. It's a new product. It was not before. And that's why this product is a new invention. So I created this is also a part of my brand name strategy. So comfort, innovative. And what it helps to do? It helps you to move. It helps you to move on mountain, in gym, your old age. It helps you to move freely. So it's a mover, right? So comfort, innovative, mover. Now, if I add these three things and I make a little twist around these three main things that this product does, I actually came up with the name Comfy Mover. Now, you may be thinking, well, comfy, comfort, comfort, the short of comfort is a comfy. It should be Y, but hey, I twisted it. I told you it's an I and the I stands for innovative. That I, that's why I made a different color and I need that I in the middle. It's a Comfy Mover. And for a matter of fact that if anybody want to get into this product and want this name, this name is still available in domain.com. So comfy, comfymover.com is still available if you want whoever act first going to get it. Now you know how I designed this name, right? This name actually tells a lot of things. It's a comfy, it's innovative, it's mover. Now this is what I believe and why I make this name a little broad because I know in future I would need some more product that supports these three things that brings comfort to my audience, that is innovative that helps them move different things, different ways. This is how you should think when you're creating any brand. It could be any sector of your product, but always try to keep your basic personality straight. So my product has these three personality. Each has to be comfort making things. It has to be innovative. It has to help my friend or customer to move. Now, once I know my brand personality or the personality of the person of Comfy Mover, now he needs some friends, i.e. customers, right? Now where this guy, I'm pointing out Confumber as a guy, where this guy gonna find his friend? Well, he has to go somewhere where his type of personality people try to hang around. You agree? Exactly. Those are the places where he's gonna introduce him because nobody knows him. So you're gonna introduce him when they see that this guy has the personality that we want to hang around then they become your friend and then they become your very good friend and this is where it creates the loyalty. You're creating loyalty around your personality, around your brand, around your name. Did you understood? Right. Let me tell you another sec another position over here. Why your personality helps you a lot, a lot about pinpointing the target audience or pinpointing who to shake the hands with, with who you should make friend with, where you should invest your money to acquiring those friends i.e. marketing. Now in my research for my product, what I found that my type of friend who will be about who will be willing to make a friendship with you are about to hang around in these two types, two categories, right? Let me tell you why. One is need. There are some people who may gonna need a product like this. There are some people who are desperate, who are desperate, who are in pain or something, they're gonna desperately need this product. So who do you think I should target first? The desperate one, right? This is the easiest way I can make friendship. Another way I can make customer. So to keep this video short, let's say the needy people who need to be a friend of mine or this product, the needy people is a broad category. There could be so many people who need my product, right? They could be gym guy, they could be young, they could be old. I don't know. So these are the needy people. And the desperate people, these are very a little bit more specific, very niche specific, very, very, very targeted. So these are the desperate people who I would, should target faster because I want to be friend with them because they want someone like me. So in the broad match of need, who are those people? Let me give you an example how you should come up with these points. Need equal to heavy lifter. The people who try to lift something heavier. Who could be those people? If you write down heavy lifter, from the heavy lifter it should come the people who work in the construction sector, the people who work in the power lifter in gym, the mountain hikers. They are heavy lifter. They need to work a long time. So these are the people who are need people. These are not desperately need people. Remember, they can don't buy your product and still can do their things, right? So these are need people. Keep in mind. Now let's design the desperately need people. People who are in pain, they are desperately needy people. Who are in pain? 
who, what are those people that you think that are in pain? The people who need this product may be in pain because they cannot do the thing that they used to do. It's always a pain for them. For example, the people who are at the age of 50 or 60 years old, they want to walk the mountain or the stairs like they used to do when they were 30. So this is a pain point for them. So those people, like the people, the age group from 50 to 60 is my pain pointing people. I want to be friend with them. You see, another sort of people for the desperate need is another pain is people who has exactly the pain in their knees or who has problem with their knees. You agree? So these are the two types of people that I want to be very easily and firstly be friend with them and introduce them myself as a company comfy mover so that they become my loyal fan and customer and they should know my brand first and very fast. So now that I know why and who should I target first of all to introduce myself, let's do a little bit digging and let me show you why it is important that you come up with your brand personality very fast. And I'm going to talk this whole video, 80% of this video is going to be about brand personality. Trust me here. This is the most important point you're going to establish and the rest going to follow. So stay with me. So once you know that those desperately needy people and now it's your duty to why they hang around to find out, right? And I'm going to show you a demo over here that what I write down, like where people around age around 60 years old where they about where they like to hang around I asked this on Google and these are the results now trust me here those are these are the web pages you are seeing at the very top of the Google search are those pages are getting most of the visitors of this age group trust me if it is not Google will show you here you see so many blogs dating sites so many articles and web pages over here are your targeted audience and your friends are actually moving around now why you need those, I highly recommend you write down on a paper all of these pages that you've been through that maybe your potential friends are actually visiting. Now you want to go there to introduce yourself. How are you going to do that? I'm going to show you in a moment. You can see there are some other option on the Google. You can ask the question like this, like this that I'm doing over here. This even give you much more in-depth data where your target audience who has pain try to hang around. Now after a little bit of research, I found one of these websites called webmd.com. Now, once I found this website, I actually found one of their articles and I actually went to read that article and landed on their website. Now, if you don't know, a previous video was mine. It was about why customer like content marketing. You should watch that video, guys, because today's world is everything changing. Traditional method of advertising has died. And if you still keep on trying it, you're going to fail. Simple as that. So that's why you should watch that video as well. Now, let's get back to the point over here. Now, if you research just this one website, you will see you actually don't need any other website to target when you target on your Facebook marketing. Now I'm going to show you only this one website and how you can go depth and depth and depth and how you're going to target those people who actually you should target or you should find to make a friend or to introduce a brand. How you're going to find those people just by this one website and why you should not use Facebook suggestion to target your audience. Let me show you here. Now you're going to come to the Uber suggest www.uber suggest. This is a website from where you can get any in-depth data. As you can see over here, type in your computer's domain to get better keywords idea. Even if you're doing Google advertising or anything or getting in-depth data about any website, this is the main point which you can get the in-depth data for what these websites are ranking for their keywords about their Facebook page, their followers and every single thing who are what sort of website are driving traffic to this website every single thing you're getting for free by this Neil Portal um, Uber suggest as you can see I typed down that website and it's showing me a huge amount of traffic that visit this website because this website is hugely 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 popular among from USA, India, in and in Great Britain, you can see the volume of traffic this website gets, and from the website's uh, backlinks, every single detail, and the topics from where these customers are very much interested, what sort of volume these each of the keywords are getting, these keywords this website is using, view all SEO keywords this domain ranks for. If you click on that, that will also gonna show you all the skewers this website is ranking for you can also click on to see what is driving most of the traffic to this website now you do your own research guys on this occasion i'm just showing you a demo on my mobile phone that how easily and free way you can get exactly pinpointing just by one popular website to collect your users data where they try to hang around as you can see over here is this uh, 
website is actually suggesting me what sort of keywords this uh, website is ranking for you can get all those keywords is free i just didn't log in over here that's why it's not showing me those rest of the keywords over here so i highly recommend you go and go even to the facebook pages now do you know what most of the dropshipper they're gonna do they're gonna go to the facebook audience builder they're gonna look for the suggested the facebook are actually gonna suggest them when they're gonna type knee problem facebook gonna suggest some of the pages and the people and the target you should target now think logically how many people if they are trying to get into this product are doing the same thing that you are doing and facebook is actually suggesting all of them to target this category of people and all of them putting money and you know the facebook works as a bidding strategy who bids first spend more money gonna be at the front of that customer and who has a low budget gonna stay low this is why this research is very crucial that you make you should think differently no facebook actually gonna suggest me webmd.com i have to come up with my own research where my target audience and are hanging around that i want to be friend with them and introduce my brand you agree with me now you see webmd is not only the web page they even have the facebook page they have their own followers what are you gonna do you're gonna go on the facebook ad creating your ad manager you're gonna just write down and target the webmd facebook people who like this page and you're gonna set the age from 45 or maybe 50 to 60 years old who has interest in knee problem knee pain things 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 like now what is happening here you are not targeting like the other dropshipper you are targeting very specifically for those people who would like webmd now over here i'm giving you just one example of one website you can dig much more and you should and this is how you're going to be way more different your ad cost is going to be low and your brand will be get easy publicity and it will be easy for that your audience now imagine those other dropshipper who actually publish in the same targeted audience by different different brand name the same product what will happen into the mind of those customers they're going to see the same product is been selling with a b c d different sort of brand name and they're not going to remember not even a single one and your and your brand will be just another brick in the wall now i always believe one thing that is become a brand among a small community rather than a brick on the wall in a vast community because it's not going to help you in sustaining rather than just let 100 people know who you are become a fan or followers of 100 people they're going to love you all year long and they're going to tell other people and word of mouth spreads more powerfully than anything that you can do to spread your brand and if you understood until now then do the similar things for the need people for the i will i already showed you desperately need people how to do that you should do that also for the need people the need category people and on and on and on some key point to remember here brand color plays a very important role over here now i highly recommend you to go to those website in those category what in what category you want to be uh, get in maybe you want to get into this product that what i'm showing you i will actually go to those sort of competitors website you're going to go to those website where there is competition how they are designing and their reputed brand maybe how their website designed what sort of color they are using this is very important to maintain your color code every single sector of your business your website your social media your instagram page your pinterest page everywhere even in your email address that email that you send to your customer those email colors should resonate your brand's color this is why your customer is going to remember your personality and your favorite color right you know your friend's favorite color what is it you can tell me down there you don't have to send me the name just tell me what is his weird color maybe second very important things is slogan now i believe this is important and you will find sometimes it's not even important now the slogan is actually describe in a short sentence who you are what about the apple look what their slogan is think differently apple always come with new innovations and they've been like this and that's why they are now apple think about puma forever fast and their logo is also a cheetah that is running fast so anything they're saying and presenting resonate you see nike just do it it tells you to be active just do it and that's why they resonate with athletes with the sports people their brand represents activity active it should be all compound and sometimes some brands don't even have slogans like starbucks you know that starbucks doesn't have any slogan right they don't they don't they have different sort of latte but no slogan now i have one request here i want to know what should be my slogan for this product write me down in the comment the best slogan that's going to come up i'm going to i'm going to show that person's and his slogan on my next friday video and if you want to be on that video comment below your very well thought slogan to sell this product or make a brand around it comment it below right now so that in next friday i'm going to show 
who is it and what is your slogan now with that i also request you to click the like button because if it was interesting to you that you stayed until now that means this video gives you some sort of knowledge and information that you liked so help me with it hit the like button and help me also to spread this video maybe in your social media maybe facebook or instagram page wherever you want that will give me a big favor to spread my knowledge among other people maybe it could be your friends and your brother or whoever or your colleague who need a little bit of, of this sort of video that I would talk over here so help them and at the same time help me by spreading the words and also subscribe to this channel because if you are about to know all the week three videos Monday for hot products to introduce to your Shopify store or any e-commerce store Wednesday I talk about different sort of marketing strategy most excitingly I always talk about low-cost marketing strategy and on Friday I say or talk about creating brand stories success stories my own opinion and all these things that are gonna help you creating your business and success so if you think these sort of things resonate with your interests so let's become friend again hit the subscribe button hit the like button and don't forget to hit the bell notification it gonna notify every time i publish a video so i'll see you on next monday with some hot products don't miss that video have a good day